the Persepolis Fortification Tablets is a very large group of clay tablets and fragments that were excavated by the Oriental Institute's archaeological excavation expedition to uh, Persepolis. Uh, they excavated there between 1931 and 1939. And in 1933, they discovered, uh, much to everybody's surprise, uh, this group of tens of thousands of clay tablets and fragments um, all found together. The government of Iran agreed in 1936 to loan all of the tablets to the Oriental Institute of the University of Chicago for preservation and for study, analysis, and eventual publication. Yeah, these are photographs of uh, some of what the Oriental Institute excavations revealed at the palaces, you have to understand that most of this, before the Oriental Institute came and excavated it, was covered with dirt. The tablets actually tell us a lot of things that connect with the material that you can see in the reliefs. Um, but they tell us quite a different story because they tell us about everybody, just about everybody who was somewhere near the Persian court or somewhere connected with the Persian court. And that means everybody from the lowliest, nameless workers on the buildings or in the fields up through the people who wrote these tablets or managed the system, officials and bureaucrats and so on, and in fact all the way up through the royal family. What you see in the tablets is the most basic, ordinary, everyday concerns of not only these people, but of also of the thousands of people that stood behind them and below them. But recording this requires several different kinds of things. A cuneiformist is going to want to look at the Elamite cuneiform in one kind of light that shows each of the wedges sort of carefully and nicely, and they prefer to have it lit as if lit from the upper left-hand corner. The person, the art historian who's studying the seal impression is going to want to be able to light every part of that seal impression in a way that discloses all of the detail. So he's going to want to be able to move the light around from angle to angle, look at it from the top, from the right, from the bottom, and so on. Being able to record it like this and being able to distribute it like this, I think, satisfies the special needs of each of these branches of scholarship without actually, what should I say, violating the integrity of the original relationships among the kinds of information.